Hey, I'm Goo Goo. This is Guru Style. I am downtown Los Angeles at my showroom, but not for long, because guess what? We are going on vacation. There's absolutely nothing like a getaway where you can go away and reset. But in order to get that done and in order to do that successfully, you gotta start right here by planning, by organizing and getting everything straight so that when you go there, it's easy breezy. So when you pack, think easy breezy. Don't think Cleveland or New York or LA. Like, think island. Everything is iry. I don't know what that means, but they say it and I think that is like everything is laid back. I'm gonna go with that. All right, so let's start right here with your carry on. What if you got there and you didn't have your luggage? What can you put in here? What do you have to have? Now, if you're anything like me, you're gonna need some underwear. But I'm not showing y'all my underwear. You're just gonna have to imagine. Long as I got some underwear, some wipes and deodorant, I'm, I'm good and I can last anywhere. Don't overload yourself because you don't wanna be carrying no heavy bag all through the airport. That's, that's annoying. And then what if you get there and you have to wait on your shuttle and you gotta hold this heavy shuttle and then you gonna have a red spot right here and they don't think you've brought a disease from the United States. Yeah, don't do that. So then, I have my floppy hat. I would put it on, but I don't wanna mess up my hair. I have to have my pillow. I cannot live without this because I'm gonna go to sleep. Tissue, just cause you may have boogers. I um, can sometimes be a germaphobe, so I have to take my disinfected Lysol spray. I spray everything. Sometimes when people are sitting next to me on the plane, I'll spray them. Sunglasses, because I need my sexy as soon as that plane lands, I feel the sun on me, even from the plane. So this is a part of my sexy, actually. I'm obsessed with lotion and lip balm. I have to have these two at all times. I'll tell you a secret. Sometimes, if I don't have enough space, or all I have is like, Sometimes I'll just take the lip balm and it'll serve as lotion and lip balm. And I have to bring a little makeup because you ever fall asleep sometime and wake up real, real ugly on the plane? So I gotta bring something. This little kit here allows me to do the most with one piece. So if all I can bring is one thing, it's gonna be this. And you do not want to leave your house without your earphones because you wanna listen to your music and not the man snoring next to you. And my phone. Look how many people are hitting me up. I need to get away, y'all. All right, so about this suitcase. I like this suitcase because it has this net on this side. So for my smaller things, I put them on this side. My bigger things like this, I put them on this side. So basically my toiletry bag and makeup case is pretty much all that can go over there. Nope, I'm not doing that because I'm taking it easy. I'm taking a little bitty makeup and I'm gonna condense this too, watch. I'm gonna condense this big bag into like this bag. So what do I have to have? My vitamins, I gotta take my vitamins. Those are important. My wet stuff, here's my makeup remover. Here's my sunscreen. Don't you go to no island without no sunscreen, you'll be burnt alive. Toothpaste, toothbrush, hair gel, face moisturizer, I'm jamming. I'm really doing good here. I didn't think I was gonna succeed at this part. And my lotion. And the last thing is bug spray, cause those bugs will get you. So now this bag has become this bag. I'm jamming. Now, I chose these bangles because there are a lot of colors on them and I'm gonna wear these all throughout this vacation. But I would say bring a statement necklace or a statement piece of jewelry. Of course, my earrings are also a statement piece because they have all the colors in them. So I can wear this and this and one of these with anything that I have on. If I had to choose between the two of these, I would choose this one because this one is just metal. It's a little heavier. It's just a little more serious. This just is more islandy. It's lighter and it's easier to travel with. So I'm gonna take this one. This is my statement piece. I know it's red, but red goes with everything. So just so you know something about island fashion, they're not like us. They don't, they don't dress how us Americans and Europeans dress. They're more laid back. For example, this cotton dress that I have on is actually, it's something that's really comfortable, that's really versatile. You can dress up or down. Everything is always so easy to put on, easy to take off, not too many pieces and all of that. This is your dress up dress. In the islands, this is dress up clothes. Don't take it any further or any higher than this because you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb and you're gonna be the only person overdressed for the party in not a good way. You can never go wrong with tanks and t-shirts on an island. This is easy, you can throw this on at any time with anything. Wait a minute, I have this really good skirt, hold on. I am going to wear this skirt right here until it gets dirty. This is probably my favorite piece because 
It's just easy. It's cotton, it's cool. And you know what? This skirt is made to be wrinkled, so I don't feel no pressure to steam or to iron this. Like, I wear this just like this. No pressure, keep it easy. Bathing suits. Okay, listen, you guys know that bathing suits are a huge deal for us ladies. So I need bathing suits that cover a multitude of faults. This one actually is a minimizer, and this one fits very well and kind of covers up, you know, that little special area right there that some of us have a problem with. But what covers them up more than anything is a bathing suit cover up, and I got you. I am going to be walking around the island in this gorgeous bathing suit cover up. It's nice, it's airy, it's see through. It goes with everything, including my floppy hat. Um, it matches the bathing suits, and I'm just probably gonna be walking around in this with those things underneath. Like, I really have to cover a multitude of faults, and this is gonna help me cover up you know, those little situations I have. 90% of the time, the island is nice and warm in the perfect temperature, but sometimes the breeze may get just a little bit chilly for some of us that are just those people that just get cold easily. So you may want to take something really light and easy like this in a versatile color that you can wear with a lot of different things. All right, now shoes. Listen, I am not making rocket science out of this. I'm using neutral colors. And that's that. I narrowed it down to these flat sandals. These flat sandals don't take up too much space. These don't take up too much space. These kind of do, but it's just one sneaker. And then these, they do take up space, but guess what? It's only one pair. I don't have two pairs. So I'm still saving space and I'm still packing smart. All right, so remember, it's all about planning. If you plan ahead of time, you'll have a cool, easy, breezy vacation. Think versatility, think lightweight. Think of those things so that your trip can be easy breezy. And remember to pack good vibes, positivity, and remember to have a good time. Hey, so thank you guys for watching. I really hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions, leave them right below. Don't forget to subscribe to the WeTV YouTube channel. And you know what? Watch all my other videos. See you next time.